Well, hello YouTube. It's the middle of July and I'm going to do something that I never thought I'd be doing. I was talking to my sister the other day and she'd just come in from out of the woods and was out looking for mushrooms. Now, as you guys know, I like to, I'll probably, every spring I like to go out and hunt yellow morel mushrooms. And uh, really, all my growing up, I always thought uh, any other kind of mushroom, at least in Oklahoma, uh, was more than likely poisonous and would kill you. So I have literally had a blind eye to every mushroom on the forest floor since I was a child. Well, it turns out there's numerous mushrooms in Oklahoma that are edible. And my sister had a half bag full of them. So I thought, you know what the heck, I'm going to go out here in my woods and see what I can find. And uh, I went out for just a quick stroll and, and I actually found a couple. So. Now we're going to go out here and do an official hunt. The uh, tools required aren't anything special. It's a bowl, a stick, because there's a lot of spider webs out there, and a sharp pocket knife. And that's all the tools required for this. So anyways, we're going to go out here, stroll around, and uh, see what we can find. Now keep in mind, I'm a novice, very much a newbie when it comes to hunting mushrooms. And I don't know the scientific names, nor am I even going to attempt it. I'll just give you the general name, the common name that most people use. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot to be learned when it comes to collecting fungi. These, uh, these mushrooms, some of them, they have, uh, they have look alikes that you don't want to be eaten and they will make you sick um, so there's only a couple of them that I can positively identify out here I'm probably gonna be coming across quite a few that I don't know what they are and I'm just gonna leave them in the ground right where they belong uh, but if I do recognize them and can identify them positively then I will pick them take fair warning if you go out and do this make sure you know what the heck you're pulling out of the ground because if you pull the wrong thing out and you're in the wrong part of the country, it could be bad. Uh, just uh, YouTube or Google uh, most poisonous mushrooms and take a look at what the effects are. It is bad. Anyways, like I said, there's uh, three that I know of out here that I can identify. That's the coral mushroom, um, old man of the woods, which I still got to do some double checking on. There's the indigo milk cap and chanterelles. Chanterelles are really good. I've already eaten a couple of them. But, uh, but anyways, it rained really hard last night and I suspect we're probably gonna have some mushrooms popping up up here on my hill up here in the woods. Uh, just have a small acreage next to a lake out here and um, there's all kinds of stuff running around here. Everything from deer, turkey, you name it. All kinds of stuff. So anyways, today, Let's get after those mushrooms. Best rule of thumb on this is take your time, go slow. It's kind of like arrowhead hunting. You gotta kind of train your eyes for this stuff. There's one right there I nearly stepped on. Now this is this is one of those that I do not know how to identify. So we're not gonna be messing with it too much. I'll fill up underneath the underside. I can feel gills on the underside. Some of them are kind of spongy. And uh, you got to be pretty careful on picking those also. Um, you can go wrong pretty quick with some uh, bad look-alikes. There's an indigo milk cap in this frame that I completely missed. Okay, this is definitely something that could take some time. And I'd run the battery down on my camera. So I'm probably going to shut the camera off for a little while and wait and see what I come across. And then I'll turn the camera back on once I find something. 
All right, here we go. Right on the side of the trail. Got a couple here. This, I'm not able to identify. As with many, many of the mushrooms out here, don't know what it is, not gonna mess with it. But these little ones here, these are coral. These are coral mushrooms. So we'll be picking a couple of those. These aren't very big. I'm probably gonna leave most of them here unless I can find a pretty good one. I'm just picking the bigger ones. There's another one that I have no idea what that is, so we're gonna leave it alone. All right. I have just found two indigos growing next to each other. Look at that. Now these bleed blue ink, or blue blood, or whatever they call it. So I'll get my knife out and I'll collect these. These are edible. Oh man, what's, what is this? I think this is, and I'll need to double check, but I believe this is uh, Old Man of the Woods. Virtually certain that's what that is. But uh, I'll do some double checking on that. Now there's a lot of great resources out there. Books, all kinds of literature on identification of uh, these fungi. And which ones are edible and which ones you want to leave alone. Now look at this. Look at that pretty blue. Goodness gracious. Wow. I cannot believe I am 52 years old and I have never in my life ever noticed one of these before walking through the woods. I literally have had a blind eye to mushrooms thinking that everything was poisonous and everything would kill me except for yellow morels. This one's getting a little bit past its prime, but it's not buggy or anything, so we're going to keep it. All right, now let's take on this. Yeah, virtually certain that is Old Man of the Woods. Now, what I'll do is I'll go back for positive identification and make sure that the old man in the woods doesn't have, uh, if I'm saying that right, um, it doesn't have any uh, gills on the bottom. You can tell this one's porous. It's kind of a sponge type on the bottom. Very dark with some cracks across it with white exposed through the cracks there. So pretty sure that's old man in the woods. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Okay, this is one I'd like to identify because it's pretty meaty. Underneath, it's spongy and uh, kind of velvety on the top. It's kind of a, a light brown. I need to do some, some more research on that and see if that's something that I can eat without uh, seeing pink elephants running in front of me. Here's another one. Oh. I need to slow it down. There's a nice looking coral right there. I'll pick this one. That's a nice looking coral mushroom right there. Very nice. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. That is a big old indigo. Goodness gracious. Wow. Still got a lot of water in it from last night's rain. There we go. Look how that stains blue. Bleeds blue. Boy, that's a nice one. Goodness gracious. Uh, have no idea what that is. Has gills on the bottom. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Spider. We're gonna leave him alone too. There's 
there's another coral. I think that's just big enough for me to pick. Yeah, that'll work. Now for you mushroom enthusiast, you have to forgive me if I uh, misname something. Like I said, I'm a newbie out here, so prone to making mistakes. But I'm going to try to keep them at a minimum. All right, here's some more coral. We'll clean these up whenever we get them. Oh, there is a little indigo. And more coral sprinkled out across here. I think I'm going to leave those. Those are look, those are kind of small, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I'd really like to find some chanterelles. But if I walk around long enough, I bet I'll find some. When walking through these woods in July, you definitely want to watch for the snakes. I come across one yesterday. He was non-venomous, but uh, I've got plenty of venous, venomous ones out here on this property. Mostly dusky pygmy rattlesnakes. And they're little bitty boogers with a little bit of an attitude. thought that was something, but I guess it was just bone. I hope the color's coming through on this camera. Really pretty flower. I'll post the name of that. I had somebody tell me the other day, but can't remember right off the top of my head what it is. There's another coral. If I can remove that with my hand without any problem. There we go. Huh. There's a terrapin. I hope he's not out here eating my mushrooms. But he may very well be. Don't blame him. I almost missed this one. This one just coming out of the ground. It's gonna need cleaned up a little bit. But another indigo. Oh, I see another one just peeking out over the leaves. Lucky there. <laughs> water. Good looking mushroom. Scan out across here and see if I can spot any more. I'll move on down a little further. This one. I walked over here earlier, saw a piece of litter laying on the ground, and this was right by it, but I didn't see it at this one's, this one's maybe pretty much gone. Yeah, this one's a little past, so i tell you what, we're just going to leave this one out here to, to spread out some more spore. Okay, these are chanterelles. Now these are a little past their prime, so they're not... So uh, we're just going to go ahead and leave those there. But man, when they're fresh, oh, they're pretty. Pretty mushroom. Well, that's a weird one. A little bitty rascal. I don't know if I can focus in on it or not. Huh. Not sure what that is. Took a little bit, but I found another chanterelle. So that is a chanterelle. Add that to the collection. Oh, I see a pretty chanterelle. I think two of them anyways. There's one right there, then one just poking up over the leaves over here. Hmm. 
Now chanterelles can have a look alike, so you want to be real careful when you're picking a chanterelle. Oh, that's a fresh one right there. There's another one coming out of leaf litter, but it's small, so I'll just let it grow. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm still looking for the elusive chanterelle. I'll try a little bit higher ground over here. Oh, found me a spider right in the face. Looks like good ground up here. I'll keep looking. I'll bet you I'll find some. All right, I'm starting to get into some chanterelles. These are little bitty right here. There's one, one over there. There's a couple springing up, some back in there. But they're a little bit on the small side. So I'm gonna keep on walking, see if I can find some bigger ones. I suppose I could go ahead and pick these. At least a couple of them. Oh, what's this? There we go. I was after this one. <laughs> This one's hiding under the leaves. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Well, I didn't have to walk far. All across there is a bunch of chanterelles. Some big, some small. I'll pick the big ones and leave the little ones. Yeah, I'll introduce that one to my skillet. There's two nice ones right there. I have to do some crawling to get back in there to those. Okay, yeah, that's more like what I'm talking about right there. Those are nice chanterelles. Add them to the mix. All right, I've pretty much made the circle around the property and uh, I think I'm gonna call it good. Just gotta clean them up a little bit, but uh, that's a pretty good haul. Chanterelles, indigo milk caps, coral mushroom, and uh old man of the woods in there somewhere all right clean these up and put them probably put them in the fridge for today then later this evening i'll uh start doing a lot of googling figuring out the best way to eat them i've already experimented with the chanterelles a little bit and uh i haven't tried the coral mushrooms yet or the old man of the woods but uh like i said i want to do a little bit of research on that before i start cutting them up and adding butter to them so anyways Hope you guys enjoyed that little video. It was just a short one. Just run around the property and see what I had in the way of mushrooms. And I bet you, you all have a bunch of them just out in your wood line also. So get out there, take the kids with you, and go give it a try. See what you can find.